How is everybody? Jeez, cheer up. <laughs> everybody excited for Halloween this month? <laughs> Halloween is the sluttiest night of the year. <laughs> I was shopping the other day, I saw a costume for a slutty nun, and I'm not I'm not sure if I was supposed to be offended or not at that. You know, like guys couldn't get away with that. I could never, you know, go out dressed as a slutty pope. <laughs> I'd give candy to like one little boy, and the next person not on my door would be Chris Hansen. <laughs> Trick or treat, why, why don't you take a seat? <laughs> costumes, man, though. The costumes are like just so revealing now. Like, uh, do you know what I'm gonna be for Halloween? I'm gonna be awkwardly hiding my erection. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see, where am I going with this? <laughs> You know, you gotta give it up for the girls in Bellingham, though, who dress up like that for Halloween. Because we're not in California, you know, like, it is fucking cold on these October nights, you know? And they're out there basically wearing a bikini, just like... I'm not, I'm not cold at all. Of course my dad loved me, why do you ask? Incentive to have kids, you know, if I was ever going to, would just be so I could trick or treat and play with Legos again. You know? <laughs> I feel like that's how, that's the reason I know that I shouldn't. I'm not ready for kids, you know. And I, anybody ever wonder why MTV never had a show called 16 and knows what a condom is? <laughs> I just feel like, you know, maybe I have good ratings, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm not really good at Halloween. I don't like party because I don't drink. Heck, that confuses some people. I get asked a lot. Uh, basically, I feel like alcohol, its primary, pur primary purpose is to um, make people stupid and obnoxious, you know? And I don't want to sound like I'm better than anybody, but I'm pretty good at those things already. <laughs> Do you ever go to like a sporting event? You know, you always see like the one loud, obnoxious asshole who's just ruining it for everybody. Everybody's like, oh, why didn't they cut him off like a long time ago? That's me sober. <laughs> I am never more than one Mike's Heart Lemonade away from starting a riot. <laughs> I love how with drinking stories, like, it's never a good story. Like, the, the more terrible shit that happens to you, the better the story is. You never, like, go into class and, you know, have somebody next to you say, like, oh, man, last night I had so much homework, I had a couple glasses of wine, and it really took the edge off. <laughs> it's always like, holy shit, man, we were so wasted. We were just drinking shot after shot. We broke into a zoo. I got mauled by a bear. <laughs> I was crying, I called up my crazy ex-girlfriend and told her I miss her. We fucking lost Kevin, like, oh, you got separated? No, Kevin's just gone now. His parents are devastated, it was awesome! Uh, I feel like I see, like, most beer commercials and stuff for, um, sporting events, you know, like, during commercials and stuff, and I think the reason is because most sports you have to be drunk to enjoy them. Uh, are there any uh, fans of soccer tonight? Oh. Yeah. Alright, do me a favor and close your ears for the next time. <laughs> um, I'm going to my third Sounders game this Sunday, and I'm pretty excited because I'm hoping it's the first time I get to see a team score a point. <laughs> That's not a joke. I've paid to go to two Sounders games, and both of them ended tied at zero. <laughs> so needless to say, I know what all the fuss is about now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think, I just don't understand soccer first. If you like it, that's fine, but I don't think it's the world sport. Maybe the third world sport, but even that's, <laughs> even that's kind of pushing it. I, uh, I can't enjoy any game where uh, there's, it's commonly more injuries than points scored per game, you know? And like, if you're watching football, American football, and somebody gets injured, like there's like a mass of like just humongous uh, muscle dudes, you know, all in a pile. They get off and there's this one guy laying motionless, like, he's probably 
probably dead. <laughs> and that's cool. And then you like, it's, so it makes it hard to switch channels. And you see like a guy who's like 110 pounds living off the field because he got uh, skinned his knees, you know? Like, I feel like the problem is that in soccer, like they're encouraged to fake injuries because it, it benefits the team. And I feel like they should just do a 180 on that, you know? Like I think it should be more like horse racing. Where if you start getting injured or too old, you, you get put down. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> like, oh hey, did you get injured on that last play? Like, no coach, I'm fine, I swear. <laughs> well, just to be safe, why don't you go grab Beckham? We're gonna take a little trip to the glue factory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys have been fantastic. I'm Jack Stewart, that's my time.